All right, welcome back. We're joined by Carson Arthur, City Line design and lifestyle expert. Carson, we're going to be talking about space saving ideas for the outdoors. Yeah, absolutely, for the condo balcony. This okay. is the emptiest table I've ever had here in Vancouver. This is fantastic. What did you bring? You exactly. brought four or three brought boxes. Nothing. That's it. And this so one. More and more people are trying to grow vegetables on condo balconies and balcony spaces, and I love the idea. But when you're in a condo, you don't have a lot of space to spare. Sure. So I want people to be smart about it. So start with a good storage system. Okay. That's key. Believe it or not, I have an entire garden in this unit by Craftsman. So would you keep this inside when it's no. not gardening season? Can, or you keep it on your deck the whole yeah, time? Yeah, this can sit outside. It's weather resistant, so it's water resistant, so water's not getting in there. Just keep it outside, tuck it behind. But I'm going to take it apart to show you all the good stuff. Okay, and we're gonna, it open. We're going to put you to the test. All, all right. right. Okay. okay. What is this? Tarp. <laughs> no. Tarpaulin. This oh, is no, the it's coolest a, uh, thing ever. It's a growing hanging basket? Growing bag. Growing bag, okay. All right. Isn't well, that cool? I failed test number one. Do you know what it's for? It is made out of tarpaulin material. <laughs> this is one of the hottest trends right now for condo balcony owners. This is a potato bag. Really? You can grow potatoes in this bag, which is amazing. And what happens is you're going to roll down the sides a little bit. Okay. So you're going to plant your potato in there. As the potato gets bigger, roll the sides up, fill it with more soil. You can end up with 40 pounds of potatoes in this bag in one growing season. Then when you're done, empty out the soil, put it in the composter, flatten it out. And you put it right tuck back Tuck it away, in. and away it goes. Amazing. On to the next okay, one. Okay, good first one. How about this one? Good start. <laughs> uh, uh, this looks like uh, one of those things that holds my kids' stuffies. Or like a cat toy. This is a strawberry planter. Oh, okay. Isn't right. that awesome? So now you can actually have strawberries growing on your condo balcony. Strawberries don't really require a ton of sunlight. You just want to get them mm -hmm. in the sun when they need to ripen. So you can actually move them around, turn them, fill it with soil. Okay, so they're coming out here? Is yeah, that they, what these side holes are they're for? They're little planting pockets here that the strawberries will come out of and dangle down. Again, when you're done... Collapse it back down. Get put it away. Soil, exactly. It so simple. We're seeing bin. we're seeing a lot of fabric planters. All now right. fabric planters are great, but they this also have some cautions. All right. Is your man purse? <laughs> no no man. Okay. No handle required. Okay. These planters are amazing for plants because they allow a lot of oxygen to get in through to the roots. Believe it or not, plants need a ton of oxygen at the root level. Mm. The challenge with fabric planters is they dry out faster. So on a condo balcony, if you're going to have these, you've got to stay on top of your water management. Okay. Do not think that this is going to last the same as if you're planting outside. What's the bigger problem, overwatering or under Underwatering. Okay. Drainage on this is fantastic, but it dries okay. out really fast. Again, though, when you're done... Collapse it, get rid of the Get soil, rid of it, absolutely. It now, I've got one more for you. This should be fun. Any guesses? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to let you hold on to that. No, it's, it's felty almost. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? A lot of people are planting on walls in condos. I oh, love wall vertical hanging. planters. Okay, great. Absolutely. Yep, vertical planting. A few things you need to be aware of, though, is if you're going to get a vertical planter like this one, which is a Wally Grow, make sure it's lined. A lined planter keeps the moisture from going against the wall, so it stops it, okay? Of course, yeah. You're also going to need this don't one with a drill. Mold. So I put my Craftsman drill into my Craftsman toolbox, and away we go. Yeah. Exactly. Got time for one more? Sure we do. This one is really cool. This is out of okay. Vancouver. It looks like it's just paper but what's it made out of? It's a company called Patch Planters. This mm -hmm. is a industrial strength coated paper. So okay. what's beautiful so it's about water this. water resistant or water repellent. Exactly. But it actually has a storage unit underneath. So what happens is the soil goes down into this little square here. I'm going to tip that over so you okay. can see it. The little soil goes down into there and the water actually leaks into the bottom. What happens is the soil in this plug acts as a wicking device so it keeps the moisture consistent across your planter. So there's soil above the hole? Is that what soil you're saying? Soil sits above the hole. Water goes Water below. down below. Yeah, and there's an actually a watering tube that you can refill. So you can fill this planter up and go away for a week and everything wow, stays watered. Amazing. amazing. So the water doesn't have to be touching the soil. The moisture just wicks up into the bottom of the soil plug. and Absolutely. gets into the roots yeah. of whatever you're growing. So if you have an active life and you're not at home yeah. all the time, you can use that and off you go. All right, we have a giveaway. Yes, we do. Okay, Craftsman Corded Lawnmower that you brought in for us. This is a over $300 value, I believe. There's a picture of it right there. It's a space-saving uh, lawnmower Absolutely. as well. To win it, for your chance to win it, go to contests at btvancouver.ca. Looks good. We should get a shot of you mowing the grass. I have a condo. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's why you have these <laughs> exactly. ideas. Exactly. Thanks so much, <laughs> Thanks for coming in. That was great to see you.